Hey guys, this is JB3 and we are back with another episode of FIFA 22 Career Mode Youth Edition here with Bristol Rovers and we will continue on as we start to find our stride. We got a 6-1 victory last time out against Crew Alexandra and now have a little time off. Luckily it was a Tuesday game and we take on second on the table Portsmouth. So it's a big game. So hopefully we can maybe get a result. We've done well against the top of the table. It's the bottom of the table we've actually struggled against. So we still sit dead last. So hopefully we can grab some points and see ourselves move a little further forward. And then we come in, we have a cup game here against Cheltenham Town. So we'll see what happens. We'll rotate the roster as well for that one. We got to focus on the league here. We have our youth scouts coming back as well. Let's get into this game here against Portsmouth. And so we will get into this one. One change on the team. It will be Rokish who comes in for Wood. He's dealing with a little bit of fatigue. So we're going to freshen up the lineup. We're here at home here against Portsmouth. Let's see if we can grab three points. And we'll get this one underway. Oh, they get a good pass in behind and they'll open it up. Flag goes up though. It looked like he was going to be offsides and it is. Luckily, Curtis gets a little too early and it's still nil-nil. They loft it over the top. We'll try and get back in a big sheen and it's easily saved by Mores. It looks like he might have been offsides early again for Curtis. Powell ties him up but couldn't win the ball. Into the box here, a big shot and Mores makes another save. Short here on the corner. They go top of the box. They'll swing it back. Pal trying to stay in front. An easy shot goes soaring into the crowd. Pal, a good pass there. Carr now out wide here. Has Arnaz. Arnaz pushing forward. Now cuts it back. Looking to get back into the middle. Pal, a good pass there. Sends it through. Gibbs has a chance. And he's going to sneak it underneath the keeper. A 1-0 game as we have not had any offense. We've just been really trying to hold possession. And we get our first opportunity, and it's the man from Canada. Michael Gibbs gets it underneath the keeper on a soft little roller. A great pass in there for Arnaz. Powell finds him there. Stays on side, and he gets it just outside the hand of the outstretched keeper. And it's going to be 1-0 early here in the 20th minute. Well, they get a pass in behind here. Good tracking back by Lozano. Gets beat on the pass, though. Into the middle, Varen trying to break it up as they pass it along the middle. Can we get there? No, Kurt is going to come in and answer right back. Only a few minutes later. They've had some early chances, but that's the real first good one. Curtis has been a real star player for them as well. And they'll get in there. It's a tough one. We just weren't able to break up those passes, and they equalize 1-1. And they're going to fly forward. Lozano now out wide, trying to push him here. It's a good headed chance into the box. It's headed away by Legrand. Back in. He tries to break it up. It bounces around. And Varen will pass it back to Mores. Gets a good pass there to Wage and clears it out of the box again. And Gibbs now on the ball. He's going to fly forward. He has Pal, has Rokish. He's going to drive in now. Can he get it into the box? A good pass there. And it's Pal who gets on the header. And it's 2-1 as he stays on sides. Some great defensive play. Some good possession there at the back. And then Gibbs, using that pace, gets on the ball in a picture-perfect pass right to Powell. And he's got a goal and it says it's 2-1. We're back in the lead here against Portsmouth. They pass it around again, and this is where it gets dangerous. Portsmouth now holding on to the ball. Lozano holds him up and wins the ball nicely. Oh, and then he's taken down for good measure, too. It'll be a... Oh, it's a red card. Portsmouth go down a man. And Callum Joseph goes off. A great job by Lozano. We, we thought about passing it. We've learned our lesson here. We've maintained possession. Now we've got a man advantage here in the 37th minute. Corner here. Flicked out by our knees. Goes up here, top of the box as we get into extra time and as we look to just get this one to half time. A good pass into the middle, headed away, back in, and Lozano gets it out. And Powell will carry the ball forward for one last possession here for Bristol Rovers. As we look to take control of this one, it's Powell. He'll send in the cross. Has Reese Carr off the keeper. A good delivery. 
as we will bring this one to halftime. Gibbs will send in the final ball. It's a good one. We take the strike with Varon. It's right there. Reese Carr sends it back at net. And Bristol Rovers controlling this one. We'll go in 2-1 to one over Portsmouth. Rokish holds up the ball nicely. Gibbs now sends it through. Reese Carr tries to chip it up. Has a man. And it's Arnaiz who slots it home. And with the man advantage, we take advantage. It's 3-1. to one. Bristol Rovers here over second on the table, Portsmouth. And we were looking for maybe a point. Oh, and now it's going to be trying to go for all three and try and get ourselves off the bottom of the table. A big, big victory here at home if we can hold on. It's a good pass there. Reese Carr holds it up, flicks it up there for Arnaiz, and he slots it home 3-1. Out wide here, Lozano sends it down. A perfect pass to Arnaiz. Arnaiz now, can he slot it home? Reese Carr is a little behind him. He takes the shot and he drags it wide. Good ball up here to Reese Carr. Has to wait for Rokish to get on sides. Now sends it out to him. Has him wide. It's Rokish who's going to kick it in. It's going to be Gibbs to run onto it. Again, it's going to be Gibbs who's going to get another one. And boys, he's starting to become a player. Two goals and an assist on the day. We have the subs lined up, so it will be Ray is coming on for him. And what a way to go off. Knew he was coming off. It was going to be his last possession here. And Rokish gets on the ball, and they just have not recovered here from that red card. The back line is all open. We have had all the offense we want, and now it's 4-1. Oh, they get a little pass here in behind Lozano. Into the box, they get in front, and we're, oh, wage a good position there. Forces the high shot. Right through the middle. Look, oh, we missed with the tackle there. And they're going to drive in. Tommy Seymour trying to break it up here in the middle. Can we stay in front of it? No, they'll get one back. And we were being a little cute on offense. We turned the ball over in the midfield. And they'll take advantage of it. Tommy Seymour still getting those legs ready. They take advantage of his sides as he's on for his first real game time since getting that injury. And they take advantage of it. And they make it 4-2. to two. Turned over again in the midfield and driving forward come Portsmouth. Right through and a long shot will find the inside of the post and it's not quite over yet. We have not really tried to maintain possession. We've been going all out trying to find some goals and it has uh, backfired a little bit here as they're back in at 4-3. to three. While they chip it over now, Lozano going to have to get back there. It's a cross. Seymour there heads it away and knocks it down and Rokish will pick up the ball and Reyes looks to just hold on to it, circles back, sends the ball over to Rokish. And will they blow the whistle? No, they're going to let it go. And they finally blow it there in the midfield, and we get three points here. It was an ugly one, probably shouldn't have been that close. But we get the man advantage, we get the three points, and we're out of here taking on Portsmouth. So here in Uruguay, we have two players we'll take a look at. It is Manuel Marcos, who looks, you know, he's got some decent uh, some decent potential. And he's also 6'6", so maybe he can slot in there in the, in the center back role and maybe help us out defensively. And then we also have Hugo Savalo. So the potential looks good, but the overall is what I'm looking at. 53 to 67, while we'll bringing him into the Youth Academy. So we have two players we're going to take a look at here. It's Hasim Karichi, 72 to 94, a 5'8". Again, another right back. That's kind of unfortunate. And then we also have Samar Budani, 70 to 94. He's a $1.1 million evaluation, so we'll bring him in. But before we can, we have to go check out the Youth Academy and release some players or bring some players into the first team. So we have some players that we're going to need to bring into the first team. The first one is going to be Arseny Berzovsky. We'll bring him in for the cup game as we can always use some extra defenders. Should we look at Bengstrom? We're going to wait on him. Yeah, he's turning 18, so he's probably going to need to get in here. So you know what? Next month is the transfer window, so we will bring in Bengstrom as well. Tobias Bengstrom from Sweden. Hugo Savalas, who we just brought in, 57 to start with. So should we do something with him? I think we're going to hold on him 
I kind of want to hold on some of these players as long as we can because they will grow a lot more since they won't get the playing time here in the first team so far. But we got some real good players. Hassan looks good, 55 overall, but great, great potential there. Even Van Dyke, he's looking good as well. So we're going to let him grow. Adame still holding on. Some of these lower players we may have to get rid of. Manuel Marcos, who we just brought in 49, unfortunately. But we'll see where that potential goes. Roldan, do we get rid of him? We need probably three or four spots. So, a Duma. Roldan's a 6-1, so we'll hold on to him. We'll release a Duma. And then if we bring in two players, that should help fill out some space here in the academy. But it is getting full. Hopefully some of these players will start turning 16. So, we'll get back in. We have one more youth scout to look at. So here in Russia, no one to bring back, so we'll hold for another month. And so we will quickly take a look at the two players that we brought in from Morocco. It is Bordani, 60 overall, six foot. You know, so he could be a decent goalkeeper here in the team as well as we look to fill it out a little bit more. And then Hassan, who did we just bring him in? I think we did. Right winger, 15. No, we did not bring him in. Who was the other player that we brought in? Karichi, right wing back, 72 to 94, 5'8, 52 overall. So he'll take some growing. We'll see what happens with Karichi as well. And so we will move on here. It's our next game. This time it's Cheltenham Town here in the FA Cup. We are at home, so that will help. We're going to go with this cup lineup. We're going to try again that 4-5-1 attack. It worked in our last cup game, so we'll see how it does here. It's going to be Berzovsky, who's going to be at the left back. Seymour comes in trying to get some minutes into his legs. Campbell and Geraldo across the back. And then Rokish, Pacheco, Wood in the middle with Leuven, Van Leuven. Hermanson and Reyes will be the man up top. Let's see how we do here against Cheltenham Town in the FA Cup. And we'll get this one underway. Oh, they get in behind us here. Moray's off his line, makes a big save, and it bounces off him. And luckily, that one goes wide of the net. Oh, and just like that, they cut through us. A big shot, and Mores again makes another save. And it's been all Cheltenham Town, but it's 10 minutes in, and we've held up. Still nil nil. And behind the right in front. And oh, Mores maybe got a fingertip to it. But Cheltenham Town, I mean, it's been all Cheltenham Town. This game has been pretty ugly. I don't know if the 4 5 1's really working here. It's a little too wide. Leaves the middle of the park pretty barren as far as looking for passes. And Cheltenham Town are taking advantage. It's 4 1 0. Ray is a good pass there. Pacheco takes a long range strike from the top, and it's turned away by Evans. Ball comes through here right in front, and that's going to be another goal. Oh, and this one looks to get ugly as we just have not had anything going forward. It's now 2-0 to nil here for Cheltenham Town. Cross goes in. It's headed down. It's another shot. It's off the post. Another one, and Mores has to make another save. And finally, flag goes up for offsides, and we get away with one there. And behind here. Right to the top of the box, and Tommy Seymour stays in front of it. It gets headed down, and Mores comes up with a big save. And another corner here into the box, headed down. Back to the top of the box. We'll try and stay in front of it. It gets in there. Wood tips it. A shot goes in, and Mores, another turn away. Ball comes swinging in here. Nicely done by Pacheco to flick it away. Back in, though, and Campbell's there. Knocks one away, and luckily Thomas sends it over the bar. Ball quickly behind us here. It's Tommy Seymour trying to slow him down. Brzovsky comes back well. Switches places there. Forces Seymour out. Good pass out wide as time ticks down, and they turn back, and you would think that would do it. But no, time still ticks on. They'll get one last chance. Geraldo has to head it away and does. And we get out of here lucky to be down. Only 2-0 here in the FA Cup. Coming forward here. 
I get the ball in behind and that's rocketed into the back of the net. We couldn't get back in time after going for a corner kick. They come all the way back down the field and we have had little to no offense here against Cheltenham Town. It's 3-0. And we'll line this one up. It's going to be Wood. Wood sends a good ball in, and it's right there for Van Leuven, who gets on the board 3-1. to one. Honestly, just a, just chucked it in there, a little hope, and Van Leuven comes up with another goal, who's been a real good spark plug off the bench. Hopefully, we can get some dynamic potential into him as Arnaz sends in a good ball here after the penalty, and it's flicked in by Van Leuven 3-1. Oh, and they get passes here at the back, and Mores, though, comes up. Big save, turns it away, and it'll make it 3-1 to one still. Arnaz, he'll kick the ball out, and it's going to go to Van Leuven. He's going to charge onto the ball, looking to maybe get another one. Arnaz now lines it up. A long strike from the top of the box is over the bar. Brzozowski racing back here to try and cut him off. It's edge of the box here. Brzozowski slows him down. They cut it back, though. Good passing here along the edge of the box. Right in front, and Mores turns it away. Oh, a good ball here in behind Van Leuven. He's going to run onto it. It's Van Leuven into the box. Has a chance to cross it. Sends it in, and it's right there for Arnaz. Three to two. And this little backup squad here that we have is fighting hard, trying to get it. Van Leuven, a great run there. Arne is trying to pick up the ball after the celebration here. Only minutes remain, and it's a goal away from having a little life here in the FA Cup. And this will be it. It's one last cross. He goes out. And we almost completed the comeback, but we go down 3-2 to two here in the FA Cup to Cheltenham Town. So that'll do it for us here in this one. And with the big victory in the league against Portsmouth, we close the gap here to only a few points. And we may have a chance to get out of this relegation spot and get off the bottom of the table. The offense is really looking good. I mean, 38 goals for is a good, good number. It's just that goals against number that we got to maybe tighten up a little bit. But I mean, it seems like we're starting to put it together. We obviously beat Crew Alexandra. We beat them off, and, and you know that that they're right above us. So that, that's not really an achievement. But beating Portsmouth the way we did, we did well. You know that's something. Even even up a man, right? I and we could have played even better. We were really trying to kind of dick around and try and find some some highlight plays, but we couldn't do it. But we're out of the FA Cup. We're pretty much done with all the cups, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll focus here on the league and trying to get up, make it a respectable finish and not get relegated to League Two. But the team's coming along. We've got some new players in. We'll continue to see them grow. If you guys did enjoy it, though, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications so you can always find out when the newest ones are coming out. And until next time, have a good one.